Hey everyone, welcome. Now I want to try to keep this short and sweet because tomorrow there's going to be a reading because Mercury is going into retrograde and it's already it can be affecting us. And I know it sure has me. Now we're going to discuss this message that we received at the reading because I've been called to, but I just want to say this card right here is about creating with magic and wonder and raising our vibration. And that's what is key right now. We are in charge of raising our vibration. We can do so. And that's part of healing. And guys, the music may be a little bit loud, but I'm trying to balance things out because my son is here and he's in creation and play right now. And I'm not going to deny him that rate because I'm harmonizing with him as well. Now, let's just see. What is happening quickly here? Okay, we're starting here. Yes, those Valentine's Day messages were a little bit longer. I really wanted them. You know, I had a hard time putting them out and putting them up, but you know what? I just kept being called to trust my path and trust my path because I wanted them to be a little bit shorter and um, the vibe to be a little bit different. But these are the messages and these are the times that we're in and these are the messages that I'm being called to share for the people that are resonating and joining up here. I'm gonna get a reshuffle, guys. I'm not feeling the energy on these, in these. Now these cards I was called to have here as representation for the wings. There it is. Warrior of the heart. Because see, the connection is what we're going to be doing is we're freeing more of our light. This is connected to the inner child, the warrior of the heart. Warrior of the heart. You have the radiant spirit of a warrior of the light. Be impeccable in all your actions, no matter what others believe. The creator always knows the truth. This isn't the time to be timid and pull back. Immense courage is filling you. Throw your shoulders back, step forward and take a risk. Be willing to live life from your heart rather than your mind. Honor your truth, speak up for yourself. Your native spirit wants you to know the greatest native warriors weren't the ones who wounded the most people. They were those remarkable beings who had such personal power that enemies laid down their weapons rather than a fight. These are the times in life to step back and even times to walk away. But there are also times to stand up for yourself and those less advantaged. Don't allow yourself to be limited by your belief system. Courage doesn't mean that you aren't afraid. Courage does not mean that you are not afraid. Acknowledge that you're frightened and take action anyways. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Through your example, people find and act on their truth. You're a light bearer for others. Now, this is just what I love about life. You know, life always shows you something a pattern or put something in front of your face so you can see it uh, one of my soul tribe members was sitting with me right before i sat down to do this reading and they were off to go and they professionally game and he was like you know what i have all this anxiety within me and i was discussing how i transmute my anxiety and he said, oh really, that's kind of opposite to me. I'm using this anxiety and I try to use this energy in order to create with it. I use it to amp myself up. I use it, I try to use it within a healthy way. And this is really what's reminding me of that, that we all have different ways in order to raise our vibrations and to look at our energy in order to shift our perceptions. And we can also learn from one another. And we are aligning right now. That's what this is about. We are building communities of the light with the light. Of, and these are supportive communities that create connection. 
and they're of equality and they are our alliances we're forming alliances with becoming the warrior of the heart and this a lot of this too is us connecting with our soul tribe members other warriors of the heart that are on the journey and the journey list everything that you are afraid of the next to that list write every reason why it's important to overcome that fear now that's what we're going to do to overcome it so there's a little piece of advice we can do to move past that on the path where are we going on this path all right i guess we're not going this way we're going this way where are we going on this path all right these cards need a reshuffle gonna fix the energy and there it is hello spirit thanks for showing up justice karmic scales balance sort of clarity and it's about balance right now it's about the two of pentacles and justice Balance of the dark and the light. The connection of the dark and the light and the moon. In order to shift. In order to see what we need to see. Okay, so we need strength here. We need strength because here's the Nine of Cups. And we need strength to continue on fulfilling our wishes, to continue on manifesting, to continue on manifesting through our desires and our light. And our connection to the light, our feeling to the light, our relationship with the divine. And we're finding strength to enter the flow, to destroy and create and create and destroy. Patterning within our lives. It's connected to our habits and how we take care of ourselves, what we're grounding. And here's the King of Pentacles. Here's what we're actually grounding. And we're grounding our truth thanks to the moon. We're grounding our light thanks to the moon. And it has to do with the Two of Wands. What we're manifesting here. Our revolutions change. And this is where things change. And things are changing to... Our connection with love, our gifts, how we nurture, how we heal, and how we connect with the oneness and create here. Like, how what, what are we actually creating with? This is like I can feel the energy of the magician and the king of cups within this card. And how are we manifesting and are we cutting away what's lower vibrational? You know, this king of cups, he has a scythe. To cut away what's lower vibrational because he's within the energy of the dolphin he's not going to dive down into what's lower vibrational that's going to you know that he can see because he's cultivated patience within the moment to nurture to heal to slow down and then <clears throat> excuse me to respond and not react and he can cut away what he needs to cut away within the moment and to continue to flow this can keeps him in the flow and this allows there's something there's something here that's trans transforming and it has to do with the ace of wands something's coming together here with this ace and let's find out what because it's connected to the four and it's going to be a uh, solar plexus healing and it's going to be have to do with a power shift we're about to to have a power shift here sense of personal power it's connected to our personal power and personal freedom okay so what is it okay well it has to do with we're going to have a completion and an embodiment of the crown connected to the empress energy and how we nurture thyself literally 
And it's connected to the King of Swords or Truth. And our truth is connected to our passions. And we embrace our truth and our passions here with the Queen of Swords. We release what's not serving us. And it's connected to the formation, what we're forming here from the heavens to the earth. And there's the Fibonacci sequence, the Fibonacci spiral, and there's justice. Karmic scales balanced, and we set out to create love and connection and equality, and we did so. Chakra flow, energies lit. This is creating with spiritual law and cosmic forces. Balanced. Of the heart. So we're following our synchronicities and, and signs. As well as we understand universal principles. We're connected to the sun and the moon. They're right, they're right here. There's the two tetrahedrons, the masculine and feminine. The sword of clarity is literally our backbone. We are not in corruption and that's where we're ending. We're, entering, we're ending corruption and forming true alliances of the light through justice. We're seeing through illusions and we are having victory. And it is connected to the sun and moon arrow. There is the connection between the masculine and feminine, the dark and the light. We are balanced because we have stability of the light within the dark and we have stability of light within the light. There's four wands on each side to symbolize stability on each side. And there's the emperor. And now we have got the emperor. And the empress. And these two energies are key in the shift right now. Because we're going to connect the God and Goddess energies and expand things here. Shape shift things here. Thus, we're going to create peace. We're going to put down our defenses and we're going to create peace through our alliances. And that's why we need to raise our vibration right now. And Mercury goes into retrograde tomorrow. And it's going to be show us, showing us um more of what we need to remove and in order to get to love equality what that is for us on our healing paths as we know our journeys are all unique as we're getting back to one in our own unique times in our own unique ways and that's why we know that aquarius energy is here to fight for that right to be unique and to set our truths free and there's the dolphin energy achieved. We have raised our vibration from fear to love. And that's thanks to Venus. You can see the connection to Venus right there. And we know La Luna and Venus were hanging out. All right, we're in a time of great surrendering. This one right here. There it is. Surrender your ego. Cultivate gratitude, be of service to others, and come from your heart. A big ego can work against you, but humility will further your goals. And this is the time we're in. That's why the full moon was in Leo helping us to shed our egos. Now, as we know, we're at a time of raising our vibration through magic. I was called to have this oracle here, and let's just see how. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Broomstick, broomstick, clearance. Give a tickle and a flick with a helpful broom. Let's clear some space and make some room. 
Open windows, let air in, clear the way around within. This magic is worked with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. Which is wisdom. You are in urgent need to create space for the energies you are calling upon in order for them to take their rightful place. You wonder why your spell work has dimmed. Why all you have asked for has not been made manifest. The answer is that the stench of clutter surrounds you. It's time for a clearing. For magic needs space in order to be birthed. So get rid of all that you no longer need and is not aligned with who you are today. Clean up, sort out the trash, donate to charity, rearrange furniture and create some sacred space so you can work, feel at peace and connected. Call upon your trusted friend, Broomstick, to move as it sweeps away the unnecessary contents of your mind, removing the, con the constant internal chatter that has prevented you from hearing the voice of spirit clearly. Out with the old and in with the new. That's the way we do it. Now, this is all about the removal of stale energies because they're preventing us from receiving and moving onward. It's time for spring cleaning. We only keep around us, which is positive. Meditate and pray to clear your mind. Clean up your act, purify your thoughts and actions. And we are literally in a time where we're about to switch seasons and spring is very near. And we know we're connected to the cycles of the planet and the moon, our rhythms. Now, this is a, all about... It's time to remove what's stagnant. This is the the emptying in order to be filled back up. And that's what we're doing right now. We're being emptied in order to be filled back up by the divine. I want to thank you guys for joining me here. Much love and healing vibes sent your way. I will see you tomorrow.